Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a fairy loot unboxing, and this is for the month of March. So it's been quite a bit, but with everything that has been going on with the shipping, fairy loot was just able to send out their boxes this past week, and I got mine in the mail. So I wanted to unbox it for you guys and show you what came in this month's box. Also, I'm in a different location in my room. I'm just trying this out because the lighting was really, really bad in front of my window. And every time the light would adjust, there would be like slits of light on my face when I was talking. So we're going to see how this goes. Let me know if you like this a little bit better than with the bed in the background sitting in front of the window. But this is this month's fairy loop box. It is definitely stuffed to the brim so I thought I would just unbox this for you guys and we could see what's in this month's box. So I just wanted to mention a few things about Fairy Loot. So Fairy Loot is a young adult fantasy subscription box. So every month you get an exclusive edition of a new release book and you also get accompanying bookish items that are themed and based around other YA fantasy books. It is a UK-based subscription, and I will have the link to Fairy Loot's website down below so that you guys can sign up and subscribe if you want to. I also just wanted to state that I paid for this box with my own money. I just really appreciate Fairy Loot and what they do, and it was one of the first bookish subscription boxes that I ever found, and I really, really think that it is good quality. You get your money's worth out of it. You get an exclusive edition of a brand new hardcover book, and sometimes you also get two books a month. It doesn't happen often, but I have seen it done before. And you get really cool, well-made, and exclusive pieces to Fairy Loot that can be from your favorite books. So again, I will have a Fairy Loot linked in the description below. And with all that being said, let's get started with the unboxing. I've not seen any spoilers besides like the announcement. This is what the box looks like when you open it. There's a lot of stuff in this box. It is jam packed. I'm just gonna kind of like lie it on the ground beside me and pull out things as we go. This is a little card from Valeris that's so cute. It's just a little note from Fairy Loot hoping that everyone is staying safe and well and I think that's so cute. So. It says, Valeris from A Court of Thorns and Roses series is a fictional city, but one that we've always associated with happiness and safety. And it's a little postcard that's so cute. And then we have the spoiler card. So this month's theme was Break the Curse. So this is our little spoiler card and I'm not gonna look at it. So then we have some tarot cards that look like this. And these are from, these are the Eight of Cups and Seven of Cups. They are inspired by the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. So I am assuming that this is Kale and Irene. I'm not too sure. And then I'm assuming this is Adian and Lissandra. These are really, really cute though. Next thing is a book sleeve and this says, failure is an absolute just because you couldn't save everyone doesn't mean you didn't save anyone. And this is a quote by Bridget Kemmerer. I'm assuming this is from A Heart So Fierce and Broken or A Curse So Dark and Lonely. So yeah, it's from the first book and I actually just finished this book last month for owls. So this is really nice. I got the Queen of Nothing Collector's Edition box and it came with a book sleeve in it and Fairy Loot has such great quality book sleeves. I really like this color too. It's like dark purples and blues, a little bit of gold. I really, really like this and I definitely will be using it. Next, there is a little passport and it's red and it says citizen of wonderland so that's super cute i actually do not have a passport i did when i was younger but it expired and i never got it renewed because they're expensive but i will definitely keep this because hopefully i will renew my passport soon and can use this but this is still so cute 
And this is designed by Nova and Tail. And this is inspired by Heartless by Marissa Meyer. And that is a Queen of Hearts retelling. So I've not yet read that book, but it's really nice quality too. It's got a little fairy loot stamp on the back. And this is really, really cute. Then there's just a little notepad which kind of looks like it's genie inspired. And these are so useful just for taking quick notes. And this is a genie notepad and it was illustrated by Katarina Book Designs. And I love cute stationery. Okay, the next thing is a tumbler and this is Fairy Loot and Holly Black. It is based on The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. So let's open this up. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is stunning. This is so cute. So it just says, to family and fairyland and pizza and stories and new beginnings and scheming great schemes. I can toast to that. So that's like right near the tail end of the book. This is so cute. And it looks like it's one of those like insulated tumblers. So it'll keep your drink cold if it's cold and hot if it's hot. This is so nice. And it comes with a little reusable straw. So that is it all put together and that is absolutely stunning. That is so cute and I will definitely be able to use this a lot. I always feel like if I have like a cute tumbler, I end up drinking more water, which is always good. And I love The Queen of Nothing. It, it's definitely one of my favorite books in the series. I think Cruel Prince will always be my favorite, but I definitely love that. We've got a few more items before the book. So the next item is this little headband and this is a headband inspired by the Raven Cycle. So I have not yet read the Raven Cycle. So this is a cute little headband inspired by the Raven Boys by Maggie Siavater. So I have not yet read this. It is on my TBR. I will get around to it eventually, but it is really cute and it's one of those like silky type feeling headbands and I don't wear headbands too often but I also don't have any in this style <laughs> and it just looks like that I feel like it'll look kind of ridiculous with my hair all pulled up and the last thing before the book is this lanyard and it looks like Caraval, and it is. It is inspired by Caraval by Stephanie Garber, and this is again designed by Katarina Book Designs, and this is so cute. I don't really use lanyards because I just throw my keys in my bag, but I feel like this would be really useful to take to like the beach or the pool or something, so you have them attached to something if you don't wanna carry a bag around. Again, like really good quality, and it's got the little clip on it. And this is our little Fairy Loot exclusive book. And it has <gasps> glitter sprayed edges. So I know there's always extra stuff in here. So the book is The Bone Crier's Moon by Catherine Purdy. And I actually, so I actually have the original. So this is the Fairy Loot exclusive and this is the standard edition. And so this obviously has the like really pale green, I feel like this is like a Tinkerbell kind of green sprayed edges. And it is of course signed by the author and there is some art on the reverse of the dust jacket. And this is absolutely stunning. So I have not yet read it. This is for my May TBR. I had this on my list of books I wanted to read, but I think I'm gonna have to read the Fairy Loot Exclusive Edition now. That is absolutely stunning. I love when books come with art on the reverse of the dust jacket. And it's got these stunning end pages, which if you wanted to see a difference, there's the inside of the regular. And the underneath of this book is like a grayish blue and the Fairy Loot exclusive is black. I don't 
typically have duplicates of books, but I honestly don't mind. I was super excited. This was on my most anticipated list. I actually want to film a like full most anticipated books of 2020 video. I know we're a little bit in, but let me know if you guys want to see that. Um, but I was really looking forward to this story and we essentially follow bone criers who ferry the dead into the underworld and I think they are reminiscent of like sirens so in order to complete your bone crier training um, you have to kill your one true love so definitely interesting and I'm super excited to get to read this and I cannot stop looking at these sprayed edges I don't know if the camera is doing it any justice but they are like sparkly and beautiful and I'm so excited so what else we had in that was the the print to scale for a little bookmark and then we've got a print and a Dear Reader Letter from Catherine Purdy. If you guys want to pause and read that. And then, of course, this stunning print. And then the Fairy Scoop, which just talks about next month's theme. Apparently, this Bone Criers Moon is going to be a duology. So eventually, there will be a second book. Okay, so let's just do a little review of some of my favorite items. Definitely this book, of course, the book is so stunning. And also the dust jacket for the Fairy Loot exclusive has that kind of um, like soft matte texture to it, which I always love. So for actual items in the box, I thought that this postcard was super duper cute. But I love the book sleeve. I think that these are so useful and so practical and they're really good quality. The zipper is nice and you can tell that like this is going to protect your book. This is the second one from Fairy Loot I have and of course the Holly Black Tumblr. I absolutely love this and I will be using this a ton. So I love how simplistic it is and we've got like a little wine glass and a dagger. I think these are definitely my favorite two items. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I do plan on doing more in the future. I'll have Fairy Loot linked down below. I think overall this box was really great and all the items were really, really good. And I feel like a lot of them I also had read the books from, which is always nice when I can actually appreciate what the book is from. So I think that is about it. I hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.